fucking Everyone go, here. you idiot. Okay. Uh, last we left off, uh, the players media, uh, found, uh, were camping out when a, a person walked up and said he came from Coe's brother. Uh, and then he revealed himself as an ancient brood dragon and offered to give our heroes slash villains a ride to that the town where Koto's brother is. Theater of the mind for most of us, I'm sorry. But I, I just have a vague town map. Sing pixel, please. As you are currently about a few miles out from the town, still in the air, riding that massive ass cow. Yes. It's just... You bastard. <laughs> but no. Uh, I need the proper... And the group fell apart all over because a massive cow got deleted. Mm -hmm. Killed us all. I rage and I hit the dragon in the rage. Oh, and the, oh, and they recruited like every uh, one of the green kobolds. But yeah, this is Yartar, my crown jewel. As you can see, a fairly decent town. It's. It's not Baldur's Gate or Waterdeep. It's, it's like a middle of the road town. This is your crown. Jewel. It's like a town. It's like a town that thinks it's a major city just because it's the only town of any size within like 250 miles. Truly pathetic. Nate, stop. It's too true. I think that was the reason he said those things. I did. Well, it if is Blue a... Dragon is offended by this, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Ko, Ko's like, this is your crown jewel. I have a this minus charisma. three charisma. I don't. I'm socially awkward. The town. Not now, guys. The, the town. The town. The town itself, no. But the civilization I have brought forth is. As again, you can see tiny blue reptilian shapes scurrying around town. Are those your progeny? That's a lot of kids. I, I honestly don't know. I do get around a bit. Probably not. So this dragon is now, uh, now a known cold fucker. Got it. Apparently. But, uh, we will land shortly, so please hang on. Watch for wind tunnels. What? Wind tunnels in the air? Are gonna be a tunnel- Look, I'm not great with the- <laughs> I'm anything. trying to think of a word for turbulence that sounds old. Bumpy ride. Bumpy ride. There! Watch out for the bumpy ride. Just sounds like a fucking oh, no. dick that's it been might be bumped right. As you all land in the square, and yes, you can see they are mostly kobolds. There are a few elves and humans walking around. Uh but mostly mostly kobolds uh, running a bunch of shop stands. One of which got one of which uh, nearly got crushed, but you know, he shrunk just in time landing with you all. And yes, I do mean shrunk as you're now in a a a what was it? Resilient sphere, yeah. Huh? The, that thing can only wait. It can only hold like four people. Yeah, one. I know. Really? One. Yeah. Odalus Julian Sphere can only hold a singular creature unless you're talking about Lehman's tiny hut. And he couldn't move the tiny hut. No. No, you can't. 
Whatever, you're still riding him then. Yippee-ki-yay. That's a thin right. Welcome to Yartar. Do you have to show off so much? This... We, we lost There's... something. Someone. Dakota. 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 Dakota, no. God damn it. Good riddance! Damn! I knew thee well. Yeah, it just means that when our Thursday sessions come back, that uh, Evo is going to be fucking annihilated. Tommy. Kata, are you okay? Ah. Uh... What the, what was the last thing you heard? Welcome to Yarder, and I said you said this already. Yeah, and then we didn't, didn't hear that, that and you died. Ah, oh, I, I fucking said you said this already. Yes, but it, 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 listen, I am not the greatest with the spoken tongue. What other kind of tongue is there? Uh, you know. No, no. <laughs> But Co, I think uh, I think that's a discussion for another time. Now get off. Co's already get off. Fuck Co. Co's fucking. I already off. got off then. Yeah. As soon as, as, soon as land, land yeah. was yeah. As yeah. soon as the fucking ground was there, I would have fucking pooped right there. That yeah. is, honestly, Co may have even just jumped off when he saw there was a cool place to land. <laughs> or, Right there. All right. Are we all just using? Are we using Farah as a fucking yes. piece for us all? No, we're using you... Giant Co. We're in this <laughs> quarter right now. Okay, he's in the jam lane now. Oh my! No. Oh dear. You bastard! You moved him and then you deleted him! <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm knocking on the front gate. Oh, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Lands inside, knocks on the front gate. What are you, a fucking cat? So I was trying to reenact Hack on Titan, damn it! Here, hold on, what if I. Uh, Giant people uh, outside uh, the gates! <laughs> I kick down the gate there over here. Oh, there's no more grid. Cause who needs a fucking grid for this place? Oh, now I can shrink y'all. Yeah. Amazing. Shrink me. Except, Make me small. You, we're going. You're getting bigger. Yes. <laughs> I kick down the gate. That's not I'm even bigger. where the. That's not even where the gate is. I kick down the oh, wall. tiny. Hey, look, get hot. Hey, you're. Oh, you're, wow. You're, you're so Someone small. Hey! Oh, no! You <laughs> bastard! <laughs> anyway! Anyway! Where's Vlad Masters at? Where's yeah, your where? internet at? Hey, folks, are you here? Yes. Okay. Well, we don't need the tokens anyway. Yeah, uh, that's why it's not mine's not down. No. Nope. Anyway, no, nope, you may not you, you may not touch Co. Um, no! Stop! I try to play the game. We're gonna play the game too. <sighs> All right, D and D was canceled. Players refused to play the game. Uh, what are you talking? We're specifically we're interacting with the map you have. Yes. We're specifically playing the game. Could, could you please tell your friends to stop wandering? I, I, I've brought you here for you a reason. Canonically, you canonically left. <laughs> well, then get back to cannon. You have a cannon here? There's yes. Cannons. Cannon. I can hear cannon. Let's go. And, and Dakota, you died. I start going know. around in circles. Like, I just walk around the dragon in circles. <laughs> Whatever, what's the fuck? What are we doing? 
Okay. I fucking don't know. I've been. <laughs> he would please follow me as he as he is now resumed in his human form. Big Blue, we are here to see your brother. We discussed this before well, we. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Uh, this please. This is a character, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Please follow me into into this room. Ah! <laughs> As... Is this my will? Is this my will? You got DM touch me here, here, here on my character sheet. <laughs> what the fuck is with you people today? Nate, you Come screamed in my I, I almost had a heart attack. Sorry. <laughs> but no. uh, what do you mean you people? Anyway, uh, there, is gone. There, there will be time to try and conquer my kingdom or explore later. For now, there is something important your brother has to have words with you about. Kodav. I know it's pronounced Dove. I hate your brother. <laughs> yeah, I do too. So does your father. As you... As you all... As he leads you into... A very... Not ramshackled. It's well built, but it's kind of a clusterfuck of a manor. As there are t uh, quite a few chimneys that are pouring smoke, steam, and this weird red-colored mist... That's not good for the environment. I'm going to ride him up. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is happening in here? This is where our more arcane researchers work. It's also why there was a fence around the area, because there are a lot of accidents here. A lot. Oh, the still the pissing himself? From, uh... <sighs> yeah. He hasn't had an accident. Do we need to wipe weeks. the drool from Athos. Uh, we need to wipe the drool from Athos's mouth from saying all the. No, he's he's wishing that he had popcorn. He <laughs> hasn't had an accident in three weeks. Be be gentle with him. <laughs> it's a so they have a sign that says there hasn't been a workplace accident in X amount of days. No, I, the I yes. cast yes. prestidigitation and I make a sign as soon as he said it's only been three weeks. Oh my God. No, it's like I, I just write it on a wall. Gentle is. I'm. Gentle is not in our group's forte. I'm starting to realize it was a mistake for you to go out here, but he. <sighs> Where anyway. is he? Well, we would have been here anyways. Redos. And just to cut the time down. What is it? I'm trying. Oh. Brother, is that you? You couldn't tell by my voice. No, I've had two of these after they heard your first response trying to impersonate you and trying to prank me all day oh, for the past two weeks. No, two weeks, it's only been about a week. Oh, when he says these, what is he what is he referring to? Well, there's kobolds scurrying all over the place, some carrying scrolls, some hammering at rings. You assume it's a kobold, but you can't. he's not in line of sight, so you can't tell yet. There was someone trying to impersonate me. Oh, God. They must die immediately for this travesty. Yes, yes! We've had two of these little rascals over here as, as two children poke their head out to very young looking one is a one seems to be a a a tiefling a tiefling uh a boy around 10 11 the other is a kobold also looks young i'm so... you know what <clears throat> just get just just um mm, that wasn't very good uh, one. So, <laughs> I just give them the fucking terror. biggest death glare ever. 
So, does it run in the family to uh, enslave kobolds? No, that was that was actually his idea. Of, that was that. I that was no wrong. Fucking that. So I, I can't get into that voice again. So we should have you drawn and quartered for stealing your brother's idea of enslaving kobolds. No, because that's copyright infringement. That was his idea. He says, pointing to the the to the blue dragon, who I don't think I've given a name yet. Right, infringing on code. You should apologize. I'm sorry. Has your little little tribe been here for seventeen years now? Yes. Uh, well, were they? Oh, yeah, kinda. In a way. Have you been in charge of a civilization for 17 years? Was that part of your original question? Why the fuck am no. I here? I don't know. I was just... I you was don't... Just... Oh, no. No. You just... Call me. You, you no, contact so me. That was out of... I'm... Your people are flustering me! Okay. <laughs> Well, why don't you tell them, Beat Ghost? This was a, it's the only part of my favor. Now, I will be taking my leave. I need to get back to my sleep. He just walks away. Well, brother, it has to do with that artifact that you, that you left, that you left to look for. All right, it's kind of narrow. What about yes. It? We think we might have narrowed down its location. Yeah, probably should have led with that. Now, if you will please follow me. Slarkon! Uh, uh, a, one of the older looking kobolds. You're in charge of these runs. <sighs> okay. As he just walks away and gestures to you all to follow into a large, what looks to be, what looks to be like a college auditorium. I'm, now, I'm fucking following. <laughs> now. Yeah, I'm following the group. So, uh, I, I don't know if you've told your compatriots or not, but the helm of self, we th the helm of true self, we think we have, what, did I say true self or inner self? So no, where self. are you? Okay, no, what I meant to say was inner self, okay. But, uh, we, we believe we found that we've found the general location of the helm. Uh, as he just pulls out a scroll, which is faintly glowing with, uh, with, with Aphos, Aphos and Scald and Feyre can immediately, without even casting Detect Magic, tell this thing is divined up the ass. So it has an ass. All right. <laughs> okay, well, tell me where it is and I'll go get it. We have narrowed down its location to somewhere in near the Neverwinter Woods. Oh, well, that's, you know, coincidental. The problem is we haven't found the exact location, and those woods uh, it could go on for miles. It could even be underground, and we wouldn't know. I assume you have more of an idea of how to find it. Otherwise, you are just wasting my time. Could you hold on for a few minutes. I have to get this set up first. 
Oh, big blue. We I are go have... going to never went to that too. As he's still pulling out a few other scrolls. This one should divine if it's within a few with it if it's within a mile of you. It has three uses. This scroll should help you with finding a direction of it. These all tie into this scroll. He just points back to the map, so don't lose that. Would you any of you like tea? As there's an explosion uh nearby in the building. Ignore that. Uh while it's exploding. What type of tea? Ah, uh, we have chamomile, we have blood lotus, we have char charlotte. Blood lotus. I just kinda of snap my fingers in his face. Hey, hey, focus. Right, right. Uh the uh yeah. These two scrolls should help you narrow down its location while you're in the woods, but it's not a surefire thing. We are only able to find out this much with a few... with a deal with a, a devil. <laughs> you sold your soul to a devil? No, I sold a child soul to a devil. Big difference. Uh, Alright, well, fair enough. Now, my soul is strictly staying with me, but that's beside the point. Uh, if you, uh, yeah, this map has the general location as it just, as it, as it show, as it's glowing around the area showing Neverwinter Woods, but this is all I can do as no. he hands you the maps. <clears throat> all I ask like I said before you left, is that after you do whatever it is you're doing with the helm, you let me see how it works. <laughs> Couple things. Yeah, what, uh... what is this helm? Yes, I'm rather interested as well. What is it supposed to do? Uh... All that I know about it is it Makes you you. Oh, excellent. I most Makes certainly you. needed that already. What my brother this sounds means very confusing. <sighs> One with words, my brother is. What he probably meant to say was there are several legends about a hell uh, of a war helm from a from a, another world that reveals oh, okay, how but what you... does it do? Did you let me finish? It does, doesn't thing? matter the history. I mean, you're just going, if you're going to continue the, just the history of what it is, then it don't. It turns you into what you think of yourself as. Yeah, makes you it, you. I don't know how much clearer I could have been. <sighs> Wonderful. An item that would absolutely not work on skull. That's an interesting item. Out of character, that's interesting because skull to skull, it would change him to nothing. <laughs> he, would, he would just be him. <laughs> just erase him. Oh, okay. No, no, not nothing. He would be him. He is skull. Honestly. Honestly, you're put it on someone that puts it on someone that's anything. depressed, they just die. No, you anyway, can't burn, you poor thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm still, my character's still hung up on a sudden part of this conversation, so he's politely waiting until Cole is done talking to his brother. Yes. Yes. That will, it, yes. Uh, if you don't, if you really do not care of the history, that is the nitty and gritty of it. M m me Thank you for answering my question. My brother, me, and even more fervently, my brother have been looking for it. I have no clue why he wants it, but I just find such weird enchantments fascinating to study.
that that's a that's all. It why are you two, why are you all still here? Oh, are you done talking with him? Uh, that's the, Co? that is yeah, really all I had. Say. How big is your brother? I don't know how big is my brother. Uh, Vidos is a bit shorter than Co. Not nearly as like physically built, but he has a cool. tiny bit of muscle. Uh, I grab him and I'm going to throw him up against the wall and ask him, what's the name of the devil that he sold some poor child soul <laughs> to? Because that pissed me um, off. Yeah. I have, I have that a also doesn't code. sit well with me. And selling, selling your own soul? Yeah. Selling someone, some child. Child soul. Yeah. What's the name of the devil? So I can hunt it down and kill it to get this kid's soul back. Pulls that notepad. Pl How do you please, spell that one? Please put that in the chat. I have no clue how to spell that. You, I'll well, give you your best fucking shot. Skull, do you good? Like, do you look at your weird and like, what's up? Slargolamex, the the most evil. That's not. And that's not putting it in chat, Vern. Nope. Um. I also oh, agree. I take, I take a it's a bit, uh, big, bit off putting for him to sell a child's soul. I don't think Skull has said anything. Or no, he has. No, yeah, what am I saying? Yeah, he did. I'm not going to kill you, brother. No, I'm just going to hunt down the devil he made a deal with and kill him first. Well, if you well are that sounds like him, good fun. If you are going to kill him, just wait until after the helm. I don't oh, know I'm not more of him. I don't age. plan on killing your, your brother unless you so desire it, my dear friend. I plan on killing the demon that he sold, so, or devil that he sold this poor child's soul to. See, you want to sell your own, and I pat him on the face while holding him up with one hand against the wall. With I, no you want to sell your own soul? Go for it. But when you sell someone else's soul, unless it's an adult, that's your own prerogative at that point. But a child? No, 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 no. Don't do that again, please. I asked nicely. Set him down, and I straighten his ropes out. Dust off any dust. Give him a nice, rough pat on the shoulder, and I walk out. That was... very discouraging. Oh, I mean, you sold a child's soul. What do you expect? The child is fine. Uh, he's kind of without a soul, so... You, do you not know what selling a soul to a devil means? Can't be anything good. Well, it's not, but he, but it's perfect. he's perfectly fine for now. It just yeah, means for now. his soul goes to the nine hells when he dies. I don't even know how to explain how wrong this is. I don't know. I don't really see an issue. Uh, so, who... I understand why you don't see an issue, Big Blue. Do you, yeah. do you realize how easy it is to get a singular soul out of the Astral Sea? So you're telling me that you sold the soul and are planning to save the soul when the child dies? Save? Not really. That's what I thought. You were trying to be good. I'm just saying that it'd be easy for me to do it. Oh, where are you going to? Probably. If I'm still alive by then. Could possibly outlive me. Blinks. You, you, you realize that, that, tieflings, that tieflings and most humans... Uh, live longer than a dragonborn, correct? Uh, I don't really think about how long someone has to live. Just matters yes. on the stage of development they're on, and a child doesn't need to, you know, deal with going to the Nine Hells! And in all honesty, I can count on one hand the number of people that I've known to have died of old age. The rest that's, that's... usually die by being eaten by something, or 
stabbed by something. Or yeah, he's got a, a point. Crisp. Even as old as I am, I'm probably not going to die of old age. Regardless. Is there anything else you people need? A fucking rest because we were woken up? Yeah, that um, would be preferable. I show like a giant gash that's still in my arm that hasn't healed. Mm-hmm. You know, that gash that'll fucking heal up in like eight hours. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have one of my I'll have one of my I mean lo loyal servants. Well, technically. No, I don't care that you're enslaving these kobolds. I'm I am i am not enslaving them. I'm technically the same cast A as them. The fuck are the cast A? Social rank, brother. We went over this back in school. The fuck does that matter? It, it matters. Also, Vern, if you actually pronounce it cast day, I'm going to skin you alive. <laughs> it, that is how it's pronounced, right? Cast. N no. What happened to me at the end? English is fucking weird. Yes. Buffet has a fucking T. What the fuck do you expect? I mean, yeah. that's French. Even still. I think it's all right. Uh, you know, I do have a minor request. You seem to be um, a wizard of sorts, yes. Have you any idea where one can acquire scrolls in this town? You're in the building. Yes, could you point me to the right person, unless that's you, in which case, well... I do not handle a lot of, of the actual scroll work. I'm more of a raw spellcrafter, but he he just looks for looks through a list. Currently on on scroll making is Klondike. Uh, I uh, I'll have I'll have I'll have someone lead you to him and get to your rooms. Oh, oh I wonderful! Have, I would do I anything have... for a. No, 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 to meet a Klondike. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I do have some, some things to discuss before we go to our bedroom. Uh, can you uh, teach one of us or Athos, the smallest, per smartest person in our group, how to make these holds up my gauntlets of ogre power? Or at least something like them. Uh, I... Someone probably could, not me. Can you point me to that someone? Uh, wondrous magic items. Sammy. I don't remember a Sammy here. Regardless, uh, so I'll have somebody lead you to the right people. I'll, I'll get you a tour guide. Now, I have a few more experiments to run before another explosion. That happens. That's not bad and I... Alright. Well, let's find Skeld and go to uh, the lodging that he is... That Coe's brother is so graciously making for us. Yes, indeed. I'll change the sign on my way out. As as you all leave, you just you just hear him... Hear Zito's mutter. Uh, section 2A, what the hell just happened? On on the way out, you know that that sign that I that I made Zero. with press the digitation, I I change it. <laughs> I mean, on the way out of the building, I thought you were still gonna go get shit. Oh yeah, I figured that was out in the hallway, right? Yep. I look around for uh, Skeld. I am actually outside the building, just kind of like setting, waiting for everyone to leave. That's where I am currently at. Uh, you see the kobold and the tiefling boy, uh, playing kickball outside. And a few other, like, uh, various villagers, like, selling stuff. You know, it's- th for being ruled over a chromatic dragon, it looks to be a relatively peaceful town. Is there room on that bench for one more? Or is Skell taking up the entire bench? No, I- 
I scoot over. I sent down. So, ever kill a demon before? Or a devil? No, but there's always time for firsts. Yep. I mean, we got a pretty full schedule, but we'll make it soon, right? Let's see, what was that guy's name that never went to we're going to kill? Uh, oh. I'll have him written down here. Uh, Mo? Mo, was it? Yes. Mo. Who thinks he's a god? Yeah. yeah we're going to kill him, slaughter his army, stop at <laughs> this woods for that helm that Big Blue's <laughs> looking for. Go kill an ancient red dragon, steal her eggs. We can add the demon or the devil after that, or before the dragon. Mm hmm. And there's always a trip to the underdark at some point, but. Oh, yes, go save your family. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Athos, Co. Feyre. Y'all, y'all. Y'all going to y'all following the tour guide? I'd who who has who has a name tag Jimmy and is currently very blandly just uh, uh, showing you around. Oh, if necessary, I left my gauntlets with Athos. If uh, someone needs like an example of what they what we were looking for. Well, I like do I'll... suppose it could serve as an example, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll leave them with you, Athos. And, mm. and over... Listen. And over here we have our, our scrolls making section for our non-magic use... for any non-magic users to get some some magical duties done, like mending... And where are the scrolls that are, well, more you do, interesting you than mending? They're in here as well. Excellent. I suppose this is where I shall take a temporary leave. Let me, let me call the supervisor for today. As, as he just pulls out a Styrofoam cup, basically, connected to a wire. Uh, Samuel, please. No wait, no wait, no. It wasn't Samuel. It was Klondike that did scroll. Klondike, please, he's come down. You have potential buyers. What? I said you have potential buyers. Mike Myers? Who's that? As a as a kobold as a ladder suddenly drops down next to you, Co. Uh like two feet from you. And there's a and, and there's just a a neon red kobold. <laughs> That has very, that has a very, very, that has very wrinkled skin, and looks like he's about to kneel over dead. The fuck happened to you? What? The fuck happened to you? Speak up, Sonny. Go just kind of glances like left and right. The fuck happened to you? Uh, Co is not is, speaking up. <laughs> he has. He is very hard of. He is very hard of hearing. Just give him a bit of. Just give him some. Just let let your words be very well heard. And he just pulls out a, a megaphone. I, I I put it back down and I. Co will scream at the top of his fucking lungs. The fuck's up with you? Ow. Well, uh, uh, let's just, uh, uh, hello. I had a shatter scroll accidentally go off a bit too close to my ears.
over on the bench. What the fuck was that noise? Yeah. What the fuck? Anyway, you all want some 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 scrolls? We we have a small assortment here. Yes, I am indeed interested. You see, my companions here have been asking me to do spells that are quite outside of my, um, how shall I put it, bailiwick. Have you any counter magic? Counter squall? Uh, sounds weird. No? Do you mean counter spell? I think we have, uh, no, wait, we definitely have that. Yes, one of those. Speaking up. <laughs> uh, he he just goes over to a to a tub. There is a tub full of that just has in very bold letters, uh, uh, commonly used. And he just pulls up, and and you can just see in neon letters stuff like the spell magic, uh, mending. Uh, uh, a bunch of, of the lower level illusion spells. Ah, here you go. Ah, counter spell. Yes, indeed, counter spell. Uh, that will be two hundred fifty gold. Excellent, excellent. And what of that? Um, I saw dispel magic. Is that of the same price? It's a bit. It's a bit more commonly used around here, so I'll say too too dirty. Very well. I will pass over the gold. As you can tell from their prices, they don't really get many many like actual travelers around here. You get the feeling well, that they don't actually right know the work. They don't actually know the worth of their own shit, and they just kind of use it to keep their own society going. Anything else? No, I do think this will do for now. I'll be back. As he just... Thank you for your patronage! Now, I gotta get back to getting that, that hallucinatory terrain thing. Uh, Slargok wanted that. Uh, Ku, Scout, you do see, you do, uh, the Tiefling is very clearly winning out at this point. Point, as, 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 as he's now scored five to one against the other kid. Hmm. As the tour guide is now leading the rest of the party. Uh, and here is our miscellaneous area. There, for any non scroll, wand, or other mass produced magic item. Mm, yes. This is where I could find that. Uh, who was it? But he said, Sammy? Samuel Wood is the person on the clock today. As he just walks over to another cup. Samuel, you have customers. As one, as one of the kobolds just perks up. Ah, uh, hello there. Uh, is there anything you would like? Ah, uh, yes. One of my friends was curious about a way to craft such a thing as this, or perhaps even improve one. Have you any idea how that might be done? Holding out the the gauntlets. Uh, give me a second. I need to make them. No. Well... Gauntlets of, of ogre power. Uh, we don't have, we don't, we don't make any of those types of things around here. 
I, I know how to, like, theoretically, but we just don't have the materials on hand for anything powerful like that. Oh, well, that's quite all right. Do you perhaps have a, a written instruction? Uh, yeah, I, I have notes. Would, would you like them? I don't really have a... Mm. He just starts mumbling in his head the logistics of... Uh, they grow out of character. Uh, what what rank is ogre power? Uncommon. Yeah, it's an uncommon item. So five hundred or less. All right. So, uh, we'll I'll probably just hand you a copy of the notes for about a hundred and call it even. Well, I do suppose that will do. And if you don't mind, do keep a lookout for any materials that might be involved in crafting such a thing. I would be interested in the future. But as he hands you, as he hands you, like, a couple of pages worth of, of notes and, like, the basic, like, crafting materials, materials, it listed, listed, uh, it doesn't actually seem that hard to make them, it's just, you know, the, the spells need, you need the sort, you know, so, uh, stuff like bull strength and stuff. And, and permanency and other, you know, spells for that basic premise. The the tricky part comes in when you have to kill enough ogres, ogres and use their blood in the iron, what well, when smelting the iron, for, you know, the full effect. Is that the end? Is that the end of the tour? Or are there other areas you would like to go? I do think that is all for me, unless my friends here care for something. Nope. And then we jump back to Scald and Koo. As, as, you want, as you're wandering around the stalls, uh, you... Uh, as you wander away from the building and start heading towards more of the marketplace area, it seems kind of it's just a normal little marketplace. There's some fruit vet, there's some fruit and food vendors. There's some foods that seem a bit weird to you, like this weird, like meat wrapped in some sort of bread. Uh, and and you know more common things like kebabs. But all in all, all in all, it's just mm. a lot of food vendors and a couple of just like you know stores and stuff for basic things. Any trinkets? Not really. You can tell it's a, a very practical place. Foods and you know stuff that they use to make a living. Mm. Trinkets. What kind of fruit they have at the fruit stall? Yeah. Uh, the closest one, it's. It's mostly berries. There's a few uh, pears, but it's just a shit ton of berries because you are very far north. Yeah. And then there's that, not. That's basically what I was looking for is like, because the fruit that's sold at stalls can tell you a lot about the region, what to expect in the uh, weather conditions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, do they have like blackberries? Uh, they do. Black, blue, uh, you, uh, there is a stall that has holly, but it does specifically point out not for, not to eat. Yeah. Uh, just a lot, just a shit ton of stuff to, of, of sweets and berries and stuff. Um, how much for, like, a pound of blackberries. Uh, well, sir, for a pound, as you approach the elven, the elven man, it will be about uh, a silver for for three pounds. Well, for so, three pounds? Excellent. I'll just take three pounds then. I'll open up my uh, bag, dig around in my giant pile of gold, 
in my little pouch as I dig out a single silver piece. Thank you. I, he hands me like a bag, I assume. I open it yep. up and take a couple out to eat them. Taste delicious. It's more, offer, of a, it's, a, it's more of a wicker basket, but yeah. Oh, wicker basket? Excellent. I offer something to Koo. Yeah. Very nice. Wandering around the marketplace, you two have noticed even more, obviously, that prices in this town are... I don't know what the term is, but the reverse of inflated, like... Shit is super cheap compared to what it would normally be. Man, the economy here is wonderful. Yes. Hey, I wonder if they have honey from this region. Because it definitely tastes different from your honey meat. Hmm. It definitely would. I, now, I was thinking, too. These berries would make wonderful wine. They would. Maybe like a winter wine. Mm-hmm. Do they have honey? Uh, not on this on the street you're on, but get, but after if you look around for a bit, you you will find one. Ah. Oh. Why, why isn't this thing working? How many jars of honey would do? Uh, do they have? Uh, about 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 five, because it is going out of season. Like I said earlier. How much for a draw? Uh, well, well, it is going out of season, so it's getting a bit pricier. So, about a silver a jar. Blink, blink. I'll take your entire lot. Okay. Did he just hand you all of them? This giant metal guy metal armored man with his helm kind of like pulled up over his eyes just stuffing berries into his mouth because they taste delicious yeah uh yeah you all you both have been got been given some looks of like worry and fear because of your well armored stature and stuff but you haven't really been called out I, for it and i'm a big we're both big meaty dudes yeah mm -hmm. we're we are threatening yeah but this man's stuffing his face with berries, and I'm buying honey. They're just big teddy bears. Yeah. I can't wait for the mead from those. It's gonna taste delicious. They're gonna be wonderful. I open a jar just to take a little, like, little taste of the honey. It. I, I don't know how to compare honey tastes, but it's it's all right. It, it isn't. It isn't the stuff. For, it isn't quite as good as the stuff from back home, but it's still. Pretty decent by oh, your this standards. This is gonna be wonderful. I offer him a quick taste of it. it tastes, oh, it tastes a lot different from the honey back. Yeah, that jar back, the lid on the jar back in my bag. It's gonna be wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Everyone's probably like, "Where did these two idiots go?" <laughs> uh, y'all are there. I'm just gonna place down Ko's token over here. Well, we should probably start heading back. I'm sure they're done with their tour. Yeah. Why am I as... elongated? I don't know. But as Talco, uh... Talco, as you all meet no, back Co. up, no Co. Well, Co has been erased. Make a new character, Dagle. Hold up. Well, why is he so fucking? I. Why is he Stop so long? Stop fucking with Ko! I'm trying to fix him, you cuck! No. Freya, all... would you like some berries? I hold out my basket of, like, blackberries, which is a lot. But there's a little noticeable dent where I've been eating. Yes, but uh, cat person good. like berries? Yes, cat person like berries. Hi, berries. Blackberries. Yes. Athos, uh, I got a question for you. You bought some stuff in there, right? That I did, yes. Is their prices a bit weird to you? Like their economy is really well around here? 
Like Yes, well, you see, in Baldur's Gate, I had an overwhelming urge to burn down the shops. Here, not so much. And I like, they were nice. Like, their prices are nice and good. I'd only cost silver for a jar of honey here, and you're saying that was pricey. Uh, if you all take any time to look at the town itself, you do realize that it is pretty much walled off. Like, not big, big walls, but it, it is, like, you'd have to enter from the air or from... Or, or, you One know, of the gates? Yeah. Like... Hmm. Oh, there's only three gates? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh. Anyways, did you, find any, did you find anything on the gauntlets? Ah, uh, yes, indeed. I was able to acquire some notes describing the creation of such an item. <clears throat> Nice. So, what is you? What are the group's plans? Considering you don't even know where to go to meet the dragon, or if you're leaving or not. Wait, Where's our lodging? Right, right. You had a tour guide who just kind of abandoned you after y'all left. All right. Do you guys know where our lodging is? Uh, as you get a, as Co, you just hear, <sighs> I, my, my tour guide forgot to actually leave with you people. Uh, the green building, uh, two streets down, uh, in, uh, rooms are paid for. Co just goes over there. <laughs> he just starts oh walking my... away. Falls oh. big blue. I oh mean. my god, that building actually works. I wasn't even thinking about that. It's two streets up. So. Yeah. Blue. I mean, yeah, I follow big blue. Like, I guess he knows. I do not. <laughs> As. I just wander around until I find it. Yeah, after a few minutes of walking, you come across a building that pretty much meets what the description. Uh, you walk, if you all walk in, you see it's not very packed at all, coincidentally enough, from a walled city. Uh, there's just a, there is a, how the fuck did I misspell this so bad? It's you. <laughs> Why the fuck do I have a fire genasi here? <laughs> what? The return of Amanazel. No, but no. I've met one of your what? kind before. What's wrong Amazel. with fire genasis? Well, for oh. one, your pronunciation. Is it not genasi? It's jet. They come from jet. genies. Yeah, the genasis. Are, are, they, are they called genies where you come from? Are they the Goonies? No, the Ganazis. <laughs> the Ganazis. <laughs> the fire Ganazis. <laughs> but no. Uh, as is, a, is, there, is there a problem with fire Ganazis? As a, so, I don't know why I have this wrote down, but to make it more fitting, uh, a kobold with fire and smoke actually coming out of it. It's, it's, its nostrils quite prominently <clears throat> and a very vibrant red almost smoldering is just Smoldering. scrubbing down some tables you not set the place on fire no think think oh. po think pony taws from the pokemon anime they can control their flames to a degree okay blink audibly Hmm. Uh, um, hello. We don't really get. Uh, how may I help you all? Do Where's you have my rooms? room? Are you? Are you the people that? Um. um yes. Vito? Vito? Yes. Oh, okay. Well. Well, the top floor. There's... Jester's. 
Uh, he says top Orange, floor, and I go. Big blue. How many of this do you see? Uh, there's four. Uh, room, there's four rooms for you all. I I guess. I'm Bye. already. I'm already walking upstairs. What? Uh, do you uh, serve look, meals here? Uh, looks like one person's bunking. I I could cook something for you all. Yes. Do you have like a menu or something for dinner? Not really. Like, uh, we, I have, I've only had like eight people actually pay for rooms here, so. Huh. Well. Alright, who's uh, bunking with who then? I don't mind bunking. Uh, I turn around and like, I don't mind room. either. We're going to need food. Does anyone have any food restrictions? Like, do they care what they eat? As long as it's edible? I mean, actually, we uh, we already ate at camp, didn't we? Like, we only got interrupted at the end of... We didn't get our full rest. We got interrupted at the end of it, so we should yeah. be good for food. Okay, well then, what time of day is it? Uh, it was... It was around 4 a... Because no, it was second watch. It's now starting to turn. It's now starting to turn the morning. Yeah. Like, we walked around stalls when it was pretty dark out. They were working pretty late. Good town. Oh. I guess I'll have breakfast before I go to bed. Because I honestly am hungry. That's why I bought the berries. The best part is I planned this out so it makes sense because they're kobolds, they're mostly nocturnal. Oh wait, you're probably mm -hmm. having making dinner then. Uh, I'll take some anything you have left over that I can eat. I can make breakfast now. It's no big deal. Uh, okay, eggs, cool. eggs, eggs, and bacon, fine. Absolutely. All I'm right. going up to the room. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in a little while. As mm -hmm. he Set down, take my helmet off, set it on the table, like set my back, my pack down, and everything. So, where are you all from? If if Vidost is paying, if is paying for your room, I guess you all must know him. As as he starts, just setting as as he just puts a plate on top of his hands and cracks an egg and just lets it rest on his hands for a bit as it starts to cook. Hmm. Well. Uh... The big blue guy that came in, that's Ko. That's, uh, what's his name's brother? The other dragonborn here in town's brother. So, he sent a message to him. We came up from down south by Waterdeep. Was that Waterdeep or was that Baldur's Gate? Baldur's Gate. Baldur's, Baldur's Gate. Gate. We came from Baldur's Water Gate. Waterdeep is up here. Yeah. Down south by uh, Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Ooh. So, uh, it's I've never been to any of those bigger cities. This is kind of like it. Well, it's it, it, I know it's probably obvious to all of you, but most of us haven't really been outside of here. Well, you know, most of us kobolds, anyway. Any anyone else you see here kind of just traveled here, and they stayed for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Skull, you you're. You're, even with normal intelligence, you can tell they probably stayed because everything is dirt fucking cheap. It's nice. Well, here. isn't Athos and Pharaoh still down there with them? Man, is Athos and Pharaoh with them? I thought they went to bed too. No, I think literally I'm the only person that stayed downstairs to eat. Yeah, Athos is upstairs mm -hmm. uh, with two new scrolls. So, but yeah. Actually, I was the only one that stopped. So yeah, I'm like, well, I can tell you, um, you guys has got a very nice place here. To be honest, uh, you guys got a nice thing going. Thank you, Stra Stromulex is a very, he's a very nice dragon for you know being one of the supposedly evil kinds of dragons. Mm. Oh, I haven't told you my name, by the way. I'm Skald. Nice to meet you, Skald. I'm, I'm, I'm Smoke. Smoke, nice to meet you. Uh, just this whole conversation has been in in uh, 
draconic. Yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. as uh, as he's starting to as he hands you your plate of food and starts cooking for everyone else. Oh, uh, you probably won't have to worry about them. They all went to bed. We haven't slept tonight at all. Yeah, I'm well, just hungry. Yeah, well, it's good to get it out of the way. I can reheat it later. All right. I start eating them. No. So how many, uh, this whole town full of different types of kobolds? Or? Eh, pretty much. I saw much. a lot of blue, but you're definitely not blue, so you're a red kobold. Well, I, I don't know what you know, but most, most kobolds tend to, like, after a few generations, match the color of whatever, like, dragon per- dragon thing is nearby. Dragon but, Overlord, got it. Yeah. But, you know, most of us are actually technically immigrants. We just kind of lived here because it's nice. It is. Uh, we're currently working on our own uh, cobalt and ci- uh, civilization down south. Ooh. We have black cobalts and some blue cobalts and red. We're a mixing pot of cobalts. How does it? Tr- have you heard anything about this goblin army up near Neverwinter? Yeah, it's been a real hassle. Apparently, there's been a few assault parties trying to take over nearby towns. I hope they don't try anything here. Well, after we leave here, I don't know if we're going straight to the woods that we are being suggested to, but I don't have to worry about that uh, goblin army uh, once we get to Neverwinter. Oh. Uh, give me a second. Apparently, I have food. Oh. I continue eating. Food for you. Scald is information gathering. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Um, so as he's cooking, like, I'm asking him just general questions about how the cities run and how it's, you know, just, I'm, I'm information gathering, but I'm not, like, like yeah. looking to take over anything. I'm just trying to figure out how they, you know. He, how run. If, you, if you get, like, into the detail of, like, how the town is actually run, he starts getting a bit confused as well like i don't really know it's just kind of uh it's i guess it's kind of a monarchy or mm, or dictatorship okay. or something like that i don't well, know if this is dictatorship it, this the prices would be a little bit higher than they are seems like you guys are just like chilling i don't know I like mo- most of our money just goes to like just goes to like importing stuff from other places, like building mm. materials. I guess. All right. I finished my meal and I put a silver on the table for the meal. Thank you for the very delicious meal, my friend. Thank you. And I grab my helmet and my backpack and haul it upstairs to who am I sharing a room with? Uh, there's like, there's, there's. Me. There are six rooms on the top f- floor. You assume one one of them is yours. Well, I thought you said there was four. No, uh, he he's the kobold. Well, he said four. The kobold said there were four rooms for you. You all. Then yeah, then w- you're bunking with me. Right. Like, uh, before I went up, I said who's bunking with who and okay. you're like I don't care and it's like I don't care either me Tony and you just then. walked into like the first room he saw nobody in <laughs> but yeah. so I just go to the room I hear dwarven snoring and I know that's my room 
<laughs> I go in and I sit down and uh, I doff my armor, set all my armor off to the side, like popping joints. Make sure that the curtains are nice and pulled closed. Um, anything else I want to do before I go to sleep? Uh, before you do, there's another ex uh, another quiet explosion. Uh, well, not quiet yet, but a lot quieter now that you're not in the building from the magic place. Gotcha. As as nice as these ones are, they're still kobolds. Yeah. yeah. I'm used to it. Uh, then just before, I'm going to send two sendings. So I'm just going to cast it once and take two off. Um, um, the first sending is going to be to my father telling him that we are, we are making a move on this goblin army in the far north near Neverwinter that's being led by God, so we may be killing a god soon. Uh, and the second one is to my wife telling her that, uh, that I'm still alive and that, uh, that once we take care of this goblin god, this, this goblin king? The goblin king. Uh, and his army, and uh, pick up an item that. For Dave with the power. We'll be we'll be home soon. I'll be home soon. Like after that, I'll be on my way back. In order. Uh. Well, that is good to hear, uh, kiddo. Uh, just make sure that you, you you come home safely and get, in, and stuff. Uh, All right. And as for your what? I'm, I'm so glad to hear that here. It's, it's been rough you not being here for so long. I, I, I don't know the names of your kids yet. Um, easily. Give me a second. Boy, How dare your wife not remember her own children? Well, her name is Bruna. Uh, B U R R Y N A. Rilla? Bruna. Bruna. Uh, and the children is, is uh, Belagos and uh, Olorumi. Belagos and Olorumi, Mr. Mister, Mister Fazer, very much. I, I do hope that you finish your mission soon. I, once I've received it worth everything, all my sendings back, I do a quick prayer to go and then go straight to bed. Long rest! Talking about time. Alright, y'all wake up. There is a distinct smell of bacon. It was so difficult staying at 1.30 all this time, man. Like, I was so worried. What? I'm talking about my health. Oh my god. You all wake up. <laughs> Feyre, the smell of cooked meat is nearly irresistible. Ooh. It will you all go down for breakfast after your usual morning shit? <clears throat> wake up, stretch, don my new belt and cloak. Food. Food. You all see the kobold passed out on the table snoring, but you all have plates of still pretty warm food out on the table. The same table he's passed out on, or another table? Uh, another table. He's passed out on, like, the back counter. Hmm. Shrug. Sit down to eat. <laughs> There is a plate of really charred bacon in his hands, but 
Uh, you, but considering there are plates for each of you that are filled, you assume he was trying to make food for himself before you sleep took him. Uh, is, are you all doing anything while you eat, or are you just gonna skip right to leave? Eating. Pretty much just eating. Just yeah. silently yeah. eating with, with the whole group, just comfortable silence for me. Yeah, remember that there's... So, what is all of your plans comes from the green kobold who joined the party last session. Mm-hmm. Ah, the plan is I assume we head to Neverwinter now and go through the woods, grab that helm, big blue once, and then go shove it to Mo. Hmm. Looks around like shrugging easiest... like any other bird. It's like... It would be the easiest course of events. Like, that sounds like a plan to me. Where's go, Alfie? Kill Mo. Like, Just realizing that our Alf that Alfie isn't with us. Where is he? Who's Alfie? Oh, dragon. Uh, the dragon. Uh, Feyre, uh, you uh, you know that he bugged with you and is still currently lounging on the uh, on the second bed in your room. Did we lose our dragon? No, he's lounging in my room. Ah, good. Well, that marks everything that matters here. So fun. I love how the dragon decided to sleep with me. In my room. You are room. the one that keeps turning when it I'm into a When I'm the one that keeps turning it into a lizard. Hey, maybe he likes it. Maybe. Maybe he likes all the little pets I give him when he's a lizard. Yeah. It's something that he hasn't had before. Affection. Damn, he's like me. It's my new self-insert. Fuck. Stop it with your self-inserts. Yeah, stop it, man. That's, that's not for D&D. &D. You don't self-insert. Well, no, you can. Just don't fucking... Uh, don't have every character as a self-insert. But no. Uh, well, you all finish your food. Uh, Kobold is still lounging face on the table, taking a nap. Will you all take your leave? Your brother was interesting, Big Blue. How oh, so? Oh. Just interesting. Mm. How do I put this? I think I understand why your father and him don't get along. He's so we leaving? I'll be staying in town for another day. Well, if we have a way to find this helm I've been looking for, for Co starts counting on his fingers. A uh, while. Uh, Quite a while, I get it. Uh, why well, don't we, uh, first off, reverse whatever spell is on the cart that's just putting it into a marble, restock on supplies, and head out. I don't see why we should stay here another night. Yeah, it is still, it is still currently a marble. Uh, Athos, you probably assumed the dragon forgot to undo it, so it should wear off within another day or you can ask him to turn it off. Yes, you know this cart here. He he looks up. He looks at the marble because I assume he's carrying the magical yeah, marble. Yeah, I I, to I tossed it to you last session. I remember. Yes, uh, this. Well, if you were to give me a number of hours, I could undo it myself. But otherwise, it ought to undo itself eventually. Oh. 
I'd rather not wait for the eventually because then it would turn back when it's in your pocket. I'll be honest with you. I have quite a bit of experience at avoiding very large things suddenly growing from one of my pockets. But yeah, I still don't want to repeat the experience. Yes. I mean... Do you guys have any other reason to stay in this town? No. Not a one. I stand up and I pull three silver and lay the three silver near the go near the sleeping cobalt. Uh, I, I he might melt those when he wakes up. Mm, you're right. I grab them, take them over, and walk behind the bar. Is it like a cash box? Uh, there's a little coin pouch next to some various wines and ales. I open it up and drop the three coins in it, and then just tie it back, put it down. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yes. We may be evil, but we're not dicks. Yeah, we're evil. We're not thieves. Not yet, we're not. I don't think I have the... I don't think I have the sleight of hand to be a... Actually, I have a foreign sleight of hand, so I could actually be a decent thief. Oh, uh, so... Uh, we go outside, I guess? Uh, after if I could, uh, take care of the car if you want me to. Oh, yes. Well... I suppose, unless you know of a way to come in contact with the king of these parts... I'm pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure I can dissolve. I can remove the spell from it. Well, uh, what type it's of spell you, is it? Huh? Do we know what type of spell it was? Uh, probably an enchantment because that's the way you change sides of things. Well, okay. <clears throat> I would. My character wouldn't would actually ask this. What level spell do you think he used? Um, pretty high level, but I'm going to cast it at level five, so. If it's higher than five, then I'll have to roll uh, an arcana, I believe it is. But... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, give me, give me the spell magic first. All right, hang on, hang on. We put the marble in the street. Yeah. Okay. Specifically so it doesn't destroy anything when it, you know, reverts back to normal or kill anyone. I mean, he may, it may just be reduced. If it is... And I wouldn't have to worry oh. about it. Oh, he marbled it, yeah. Yeah, he marbled it. We'll, we'll cast like... it at five. No, it, it's definitely something pretty good. So, what do I need to roll? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Uh, technically, I should probably have you roll something, but the spell effects I was using was Resilient Sphere and Reduce. So, so, t most at level four. You're good. <laughs> All right, the cart's back to normal. I assume Alfie has joined us by now. If y'all get him. And can I make an arcana check while he's dispelling this magic to see if I uh, can't pick up on what exactly is getting unraveled? Basically, to try to understand what happened so he could try it in the future. Well, he, he reduced the car and then somehow at the same time put a resilient sphere around it to keep it from getting damaged. How he did two concentration spells at once, you have no fucking clue. Well, he's going to keep it in mind. So that means this fool has been concentrating on our cart for the past, like, eight hours or so. If it is a concentration spell that he's used, even though both base spells are. Huh. I'm just saying the closest things Aethos would be familiar with that would match it.
Well, are y'all taking off? I ain't got no reason to stay. Indeed. As y'all approach... Well, wait. No, you... North or south, take your pick. Because you'd be going in this direction. Why don't we go north then? Yeah. North and swing around. Alright. As y'all approach the north gate, uh, a, 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 a few human guards just... Ah. Uh, safe travels. Whatever. They wow. just open the door. Okay. Alright, be careful about Roven Goblin Band. Thank you. That, that, is a, that brings up a question that I probably should have asked earlier. Are we taking over Moe's army? Are we destroying it completely? Are we just mm. killing Mo? Because if, if it's assassination, it might not go well because something will always try to take power. Um, I feel like it would depend on what makes up his arm. I mean, I don't think we should take it over. I think we should mainly just destroy most of it and have them scatter like the cockroaches that they seem to be. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're following Mo, which uh, if I remember, you guys have practically called the nap at most things. So, are we going to go through Tribor and then just cut through that valley right into the woods? That's actually what I was thinking, just a straight fucking shot. I mean, because otherwise we're going to have to go way north and then down the coast, or... Yeah. No, we gotta go, we have to go north. If we want to stay on the road, we have to go legit north. Oh yeah, if we all the way up to Mirabal. Hmm, that sounds familiar. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, so I say we just fucking cut through this way. Since we're going to the woods. If we can with the cart. It is it does get pretty mountainous because you're passing right through the sword mountains. Oh well, yeah, not this through is a valley. You mean the valley? Yeah. yeah, this is a valley. It's it's a valley. Who knows what kind of boulders might fall? We can we can move boulders. I mean, we, we're not a traveling we band of Daphne. North, or we go fucking south all the way up to this way of the coast, you know? I say we just go through. Stop it. Stop it. Tribor. But either way, we're going to stop at Tribor, correct? It's the logical uh, location to go. Yeah. So, from Yarder, Tribor, boom. Is there an actual road, or are we going through the mountains, too? Uh, from Yarder to, tri to Tribor, there is a road. Right. So, about 50, 50 miles. That means we got 30 miles left. Tribor is noticeably like on guard and edge as you are thoroughly questioned upon entry. Who are you? Do you work for that despicable dragon? Alright. I just kind of ignore you know, him and keep going. Uh, I, 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 I didn't actually we need to ask questions Big Blue. Why? Uh, first off, is the valley safe, or do we have to fucking go north or south? Yeah, we're, like, we're aiming passable, to go through the woods. Is it passable with our cart, or do we need to do something? I asked the guards, uh, <clears throat> can, uh, do you believe that the valley can, uh, is passable with our cart? Yes, but but that doesn't answer right, our right. question. Get going. I don't okay. care. Um, one, what dragon? What? 
What dragon? The one from from that town that got destroyed 17 from years ago. the guard. The green one? Wait. The no. green one? What green dragon? It's blue. Oh. I'm sorry. No, the I The only I, thing that is blue. We, so green dragon is. recently. You did? Yeah. Are they trying to keep up with the cart since Big Blue has no. no, this is you people trying to get Drew Tribor. They ha they have the gates Ow. closed off. Oh. Wow. Can we go around Tribor? Absolutely. Well, then we right. just walk around Tribor. I mean, right, it's not that big of a town. I will say it's an extra it's an extra half a mile, but that doesn't fucking matter at all. Okay. No. no. All right. Like we're not planning on staying. They don't want. They won't let us through. Back it up. We'll go around. Our questions have been asked and answered. Did I assume Big Blue is the one driving? <laughs> Correct. He's the only one with the CDL. <laughs> <laughs> well, favorite does too. You know, uh, but it's also the only one that goes uh, I know. No, not at all. I can't oh. hear you. Whatever the fuck that just was. I tried at some point. Muted. Uh, Making I forgot I muted myself. Uh, so how long did it take to get here? From Yardar? Well, it, 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 considering it, it was a day's travel, Okay, okay. During that day, Athos wasn't paying attention to anything, and he was scribing spells. Are those guards following us? Since we no. kind of ignored them? You went around and are currently traveling away, so you don't- so they don't give a fuck as long as you're not getting into their town. Man, those guards don't really know how what that job description is who cares shrug uh i marked uh, how much further we can go no it was a full day travel here or no full. you Takala, you're adding an entire 20 miles to that no i when i marked to you here it was at fifty or fifty one. So I was marking from here thirty more. I don't know why it's fifty six now, but when we were here I marked from us to Tribor. Might have been there and then thirty. So this is as far as you get. Now rest time. Rome who's taking watch? I take first. I'll take second. Go don't care, just we'll go third. Number four? Athos will take number four. All right, Scald, roll me a perception check. 21. Why is that not being whispered? Anyway. Uh, so, you... It's a very calm and peaceful night once again. Uh, it's, it's getting a lot chillier than you're used to. Like, it, it was comfortable back down south near Baldur's Gate. It was still a tiny bit chilly, but here you can feel... That it is getting cold. It's autumn. You're up north. It's getting a bit uncomfortable for you, honestly. It's it's making your joints ache. Okay. We would have, have a fire going. So yeah, I do have a fire going. So. Mm -hmm. But even with the fire, it's you can feel chill in the air. Mm. But so flying nothing... big furry creature, kill it for its fur. Got it. Yeah, go go do the Star Wars thingy where you live in its stomach. <laughs> 
I'd do that. I mean, we do have the hide of a big old croc. Yeah, we do. It That's might help. Furry. Who knows? I mean, go it's probably it's there. probably pretty waterproof, so yeah. probably you know holds heat pretty well. You know, why don't we just go hunt an owlbear then? Oh yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Um, Maybe it'll become the the next pet. <laughs> so outside the cold, anything else? No. Second watch. Uh, that'd be me. Hopefully my cataracts don't act up. Oh, my cataracts. Jeez. Well, no, I'm, I'm playing with my tomahawk as well, so that's why it's seven. Just... Nope, you don't see or hear much of anything. Man, I love this thing. It just keeps coming back. Yeah. Nothing much happens on your watch either. Co! I wake Big Blue. Alright, your turn. Uh, 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 Alright. Uh, uh, up. Uh, where is it? Oh, wow. Well, Alright. Oh, oh, no, that's a 10. Stupid fucking double crap. Well, Kyle. <laughs> oh, shit. Something's happening. All right, Kyle. Well, you're all watching on the road, because there is a tr a trail through the valley. It, it is the most direct way to Neverwinter from this point. Uh, it is a more narrow road, not really a good traveling one, but still. Uh, you hear... Marching, clanking, like a bunch of things just marching along the path toward towards you all. But I assume y'all parked a bit away from the road. Yeah. So yeah. Out here, and I'll come back to my. What do you guys think it camp about here? Yeah, but Co, you have no clue what any of these weird metal. A honestly alien looking things are but they are just marching down the road in perfect sync not a footstep or or tentacle step out of place in a perfect drum beat perfectly ordered i just stand up and i like i face the road not making myself why? obvious why do i hear something techno <laughs> Me underneath the cart, like I always sleep. I'll just... Are you sleeping in your armor under the cart? Yeah. I'll ready myself, but I won't they... take any action. They... I cast fireball. You cast fireball. <laughs> no, but oh, he's, he's having a dream. Damn. He's he's having the the wizard's best dream, you know. Don't worry, I can take the fireball. As they get closer and closer, never going out of sync. And as they get closer, you, they, they still look just as alien to you, but you can tell that they're kind of robotic isn't a thing, but you've seen like weird metal people before. Like your father's mentioned Warforged once or twice. And you think that this is an apt term for them, but whatever. Hmm. I'm not gonna bother you rolling for knowledge, because you're there's no way in hell Co would know what a, a Modron is. No. Wait, do you, do you do think you... anyone smarter awake is the better question? Nah, they don't fuck with us. Go don't fucking care. And they do pass around just kind of tromping along as they pass dr right through. I mean, that means that they aren't looking for any people that are camping because we have a fire going. Yeah, they just completely ignore it. Just chittering in some, not chittering, but just talking in some alien tongue. A shame. I had a cone of cold ready to go. <laughs> I had a wall of fire that was going to come after the cold. I had my tomahawk. 
I have a new whacking stick. <laughs> me, me and Farah have new whacking sticks. I did not want to click that, but whatever. Oh wow! They but did yeah. disintegrated. Big blue loot, though. Do you care Wait about a loot? Wait a second. What? Yeah, they're too much of Are a. These Daleks. Oh my God, they are. Hey, what are they? Exterminate! 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 But no. Uh, after that, co, your night is peaceful. That was really fucking weird, though, and I and you really don't want to see any more of them. Yeah, not really. They're a little too alien for me to really want to deal with. I mean, you killed the last alien. <laughs> True. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Scourge. Oh, God. Uh, I think that was the joke. But that was. Oh, I no, no. I'm just stupid. All right. I don't know why every time we come back to this map, it immediately just shoves me right on the middle of a giant dinosaur. Yeah, it puts me right fucking on it. Right on it. Anyway, uh, who was on Fourth Watch, Athos? Yes. Athos. Now, here's the question. Do you tell what? Athos what happened, Ko? If you let me fucking speak! Yeah! No, I speak yeah. for you, don't you know? No, you absolutely do not. The <laughs> DM doesn't, you don't. <laughs> Um, Athos. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. And, um, here are these, I think, were forged or something. These little metal things that walked by. They were weird. And you didn't kill any for fun? Hmm. I think I should go look for him. It wasn't too long ago. Uh, I mean, I'm you too do as you wish, but... Toth and I will stay here. And he snaps his finger and leans up against Toth, tossing, you know, some meat into her opening fucking massive maw. Mm. Mm, nope. If you need me, don't need me. I'll just go to bed. That was this ties in really well. a terrible sentence. But I can't really expect much more from him. <laughs> More armies are coming by, guys. I didn't know the North was so fucking active. Apparently. This warlord's just tromping around everywhere. Uh, not as a foe. So roll me perception. Okay. Toph is, is with me. Advantage. And too small. Oh, Toph is gonna roll her own, because she's actually better. Ah. <laughs> I know that. Toph does tell you that there are some people coming. As Athos, when you pay more attention, you see oh. a a mind flayer and an elven dude uh, ri riding a, a, a horse uh, on the road. <laughs> a mind flayer. Just, <laughs> just a mind flayer. Does Athos know what a mind flayer is? Uh, there aren't really people that don't speak of the horrible e brain sucking evil that are mind flayers. They turn your brain Excellent. into a smoothie. I think I think you of all people, of all of us, would understand what they are. Hey, there's one thing we can for sure. The not going the mind flayer is hey. not gonna attack our leader. Excellent. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
They, yeah, he is most at risk. Yeah, I, I, uh, I see that this is this is scald right right next to me. I'll like kick him awake and say, mm, "Time to hit some stuff. Let's go." And oh, okay. I'll, I will uh, be be ready to do some some killing. Continue traveling I... along the road. Okay. 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 You do. Know, I'm pretty sure mine flies know we're here. Probably. I mean, yeah. they have a 60 foot range. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm 100 percent sure that they know that we're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know we're here. Yeah, as soon as. Sure. Uh, yep. As soon as Scald is, you know, yeah. cognizant of his surroundings, I am going to cast a fireball. Oh boy! Oh, you are. I cast fireball. Uh, how loud not... is fireball? What? It's, it's a fucking it's explosion. It's, it's, it's an explosion. It's a, it's, ball, it's a large ball of fire falling from the sky in a big fiery explosion. Falling from the sky? The fuck are you talking about? It's just an explosion. <laughs> yeah. No. Never mind. So, I'm. Us, mm. us, what I'm saying is, us three over here, uh, we're being connected up to that. <laughs> Why did you have to do this to me again? Where were we? Where, we're oh, killing I mean, something. Hold on, hold on, don't hit me, don't hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Please wait. tell me you know something. I'll wait for him to roll before my character actually reacts. That is the worst fireball that in the history of fireballs. That is fucking bad. That was, that was spaghetti to all. Dear God. Give that is the worst fireball in the <sighs> history of fireballs. I'm setting up. I'm setting up. <laughs> uh, east. I need draft horse. Why? It, it's... Okay, you know what? Actually... It, it might not, it have may not it be, might be able to survive <laughs> because die. that was the worst fireball ever. Yeah. Meets it! Oh my Meets god. It. The, the worst ending. fireball ever. Good oh, ending. To a fucking hey. horse. <laughs> Didn't even... you, you woke up uh, three, at least. Oh god. Yeah, I kind of assumed that health's a part. At least the mind flayer failed. The mind flayer failed. Takes twenty one damage. All right. As oh. it shrieks. Oh, what the fuck's going on? Uh, and oh, uh, I need to shut that what up. the fuck? <laughs> what you bought, Jones? What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> I mean, that is an. Accurate and completely <laughs> reasonable response. So, does this mean I, yeah. because I was woke up beforehand and I saw him do this, does this mean I get a free spell also? Uh, if you're not gonna use the opportunity to put on armor, sure. I mean, no, you, I sleep in armor. Armor. You, you sleep in armor. Never mind. Yeah. yeah, you're sleeping in his armor. Oh my. Go, go. I ahead. do not get off my armor unless I'm <laughs> at an end. So. Which means I have to cast rest, a gift of rest, every day. Because I don't sleep very well. Uh, no. Uh, so I can't? Yes. Give me one more. Peace was never an option when mind flayers are involved. So, <laughs> I, I see the mind flayer, right? Because I do have my goggles. So I, yes. I see a mind flayer. Oh, excellent. And Scald, you know particularly well that mind yep. flayers are fucking evil, even by yep. Underdark standards. Uh, oh, God. I... Oh, nice. Oh, my. On, on the... Or do I need to move? You do need to move. How about there? Still too far from the mind flayer. One more. There. You go. There. Now you're good. It's gonna eat my blight. 
as fucking Athos explosion, you're just fucking crawling like a spider towards him. Blight! No, that's wisdom. I don't want that. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh. It takes 21. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. What was the fireball again? <laughs> 21. 21. Half of that. 21. Yeah. <laughs> He took he took two twenty one increments. When on average, blight should only deal eight more damage than a fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On that note, everyone's woke woken up by the psychic screech and the fucking explosion. I was we were woken up by the explosion. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> chill. I'm not going to bother rolling for the horse. Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Hey, dichotomy right there. First roll of the night. First I roll of the night. Got a nat 20. I got one. Hey, burn it on the initiative. That's better than burning it in combat. Right. Yep. Very true. Hey, folks, you're not on here. Why am I not on there? I rolled a twelve. Yeah, did you click on your token? I did. You clicked on Toff's token. I clicked on Toff's to roll her own token. Her own Wait initiative. a second. You rolled a seven before that. He has advantage. I have advantage. Oh. Barbarians get advantage in a lot of places, my man. Alright. <clears throat> Kukulain, you go first no matter what. Yep. How you doing, buddy? Hey. That's a fucking mind flare. We gotta kill it. Yep, I agree. Rage. And time to test out my new handy dandy tomahawk. I throw this at the mind flare. Uh, 23 will hit. Uh, 13 damage. Uh, I don't second think rage attack actually at applied to non melee attacks. Oh, is it not? Yeah. Okay. I don't think. 10, I, 10 I damage. Yeah. 10 damage yeah. as, it, as it smacks the mind flare. Suck it, mind. Oh no, it just says you gain a bonus of damage rolls. Yeah. 13 just then. Minus 3. Gain him. I thought it was just any damage roll, but. No, any I'm damage thinking, of, I'm thinking of reckless attack. Melee. Wait, any damage roll. So you could cast. Well, you can't cast. No, no, just cast. strength. Strength stuff. Yeah. Damn. Like yeah, you using... can't apply rage oh, no, 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 to. No, 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 no. When you a make a weapon. melee weapon attack, this, is, this would be ranged. Yeah. All right, so yeah, just 10 damage. If All I ever right. hit someone upside the head with it, though. And right. the second swing is, I think I, I think I did say that, is only if you missed the first hit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have it here. I will double check. I believe you uh, make a second attack with to do. Potentially hitting another time if you don't hit, yeah. So All right. since I hit it, I do not gain the... Backswing, but it does return to me. Yep. Cut. Really coolly. Ha! Nice. It just kind of stands up, stretches. Oh, yeah, let me go back to. S and as he winds up, he Here just, up. He just screams. Slay! So, Ko is turning into uh, Godzilla. He's gonna. <laughs> Nuke the shit out of this I just see a vague time. shape over there because I can't see in the night either. Good news, you killed a mind player. Lovely. <laughs> I go back to bed. Uh, dice. Dead. Dead. <laughs> the horse is dead. The horse might not be dead. Half of that. It's dead. Half of that is still over. Fuck it. It's 17. Hey guys, we have a new horse for the wagon. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. I just oh. nuked it. We have. Oh, and I got a lot of ones. But I did roll pretty high, with like the five, five, six, four. Hey, oh, yeah, has more food. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, before I go back to bed, 
I will, I will run their pockets. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the same. Yeah. Fucking pretty, run pretty pretty them with pockets, this. boys. Ko's the only one that goes immediately back, back to sleep. To sleep. Yep. I will say, for convenience sake, that this happened at the end of your watch, so this would have been early in the morning, so that y'all get your long breath. I was gonna say, Ko is gonna do absolutely nothing, because technically, because he participated in combat, <laughs> he doesn't get the full rest. But, alright. Alright. I mean, so. Hey, you burned your fucking daily if you don't get you that back. That sucks. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, so. So. Anyway, uh, Afo, uh, you find on their two corpses a lot of notes about something called the Great Modron March and a bunch of, like, research documents on, like, Modron anatomy, anatomy and plane or travel drew a place called Mechanus. Uh, which Aphos give me an intelligence check. Uh, you know it's one of the one of the outer planes, kind of like hell, but it is pure law. Like, uh, it is no good, no evil, just law, order, stability. Uh, and you also know that mole drones are, pr uh, in hindsight, probably the things that Ko were looking for. Now that you see all these notes on them. As you as you can tell after finding the Bard's journal, these guys were studying the mole drones before you brutally killed them. Excellent. Oh. Back to mind, the couch. mind flare. Yes. It doesn't matter. That could have been uh, Jesus Christ of Nazarene riding with that mind flare. That mind flare was dying. Okay. <laughs> Listen, the bard just happened to be his meat shield. Yeah, he just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Collateral damage. Uh, that's all the lore stuff. Uh, in terms of like actual gear and shit, uh, they had about thirty gold on them. Uh, the the bard has a scroll of revivify, and the mind flayer has a a cloak of protection plus one. Oh. Um. <clears throat> well, first off. Yoink! Adding it to the cot. What the the cloak? The fucking or... scroll in the cloak. Oh yeah. Yep. I I, I, I hand you to the cot. I'm, I'm currently manhandling the uh, the mind flare because I hate mind flares. Mm -hmm. You know. Yes, uh, just yeah, leave that one's that. head intact. I have useless for it. Oh yes, yes. You want me to remove the head? Oh, I'll handle that. Okay. I'll pull out my sun blade and. You cauterize the head like, as I cut once it off. I gave, like, once I cleared this dude of gear, I've just literally been holding his two legs apart and me just jack in this crop. <laughs> I hate my <laughs> flare. You could have the head. I have a question, Athos, while you're uh, decapitating him. This scroll of Revivify, do you need the components for it? Or can we just cast it? Uh, you oh. do not you you do not need components for scrolls and and character yes. that I me, dude. Uh, in the creation of these uh, scrolls, that requires a cast. Oh shit, that's a huge spider. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll kill a spider. Go squish it. Kill it with fire. Burn the house down. Wait, did Careful. somebody say giant spider? I cast fireball. The giant this enemy spider. Blight. Blight. Like this, this damn thing is again just wrecked. Yeah. No. Yeah. I wasn't going to pull no punches on that fucking mind flare. That mind flare. It's lucky I didn't have a level five blight. I'd have hit it with a level five blight. Like no. Normally this would have been an actual encounter, but no. My pl my plans immediately changed once you got the Moldron encounter first, and I was like, 
Yeah, no, these guys are just gonna study these, and if y'all didn't mess with them, they were just gonna go merrily on their way. No. All right. And yes, I... the Mind Flayer knew you were all there, but it couldn't really do much to stop you. It didn't have any magics. It doesn't? What? <laughs> it's a oh, fucking that... Mind Flayer! Nate! It has its Nate. natural ability! Nate, let, let me tell you this. This is 5e. They don't have spell-like abilities. You want to know what the Mind Flayer can do? It can cast Dominate Monster once a day, it can detect thoughts at will, and it can plane shift once a day. That's it! Wait, Why is it plane shift the fuck out of here? It does have Mind Blast, but it wasn't gonna fucking attack you when you were not doing shit. Oh, so if it can cast uh, plane shift, does it have a tuning fork? Uh, no, it, no. It actually does state that it doesn't actually use the material components for its spell-like abilities. Just like in yeah. Dream E, and I like it. It could so just the play shift dead. that will. So the spider is dead. I threw an old uh, thing of tea at it. Ah. It was big, like, gallon things of Arizona tea. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I chucked that at it. It's dead. Big nice. fucking spider. Mm. But yeah. Uh, Y'all gotta start breakfast up with these rotting corpses? Well, not corpses. No, no I mean, uh, I'm going to help after... their... Uh, you dissect know. the the horse and feed the bits and pieces to Toph. I mean, he would just eat it whole. Uh, yeah. All right. To be uh, honest with you. you grab you grab a hoof. I'll grab the other one. We drag it over to Toph. You know, mm. really chuck it at her. You know, strength is not my strong suit. Oh, hang on. Do we care if she eats these corpses? Not at all. I'm sure she would enjoy it. No. Did everyone... Did, uh... I'm... DJ, did you write down what we got from the... Yeah. It was like 30 gold scroll and notes. Yeah. I'm not getting a roll for cooking. <laughs> Survival? Survival? Survival would be the best. It's the new nature thing. Alright, well, I say we just... You make a date. I, I say we let Toph just eat the three corpses. And... Yes, indeed. Enjoy. <laughs> pat, pat. You just, you just see her lower jaw, like, unhinge. <laughs> Fucking snake jaw, just... <laughs> Have you, you guys have seen a fucking snake eat a gazelle? No. It's terrifying. That's why I never looked it up. I've seen a Komodo dragon eat a lot of things. That's some oh, fucking dude. shit, too. I've, hang on, have you seen what happens when there's another Komodo dragon near him and it's eating? They'll ram their whole their whole face into a tree just to choke down what they're eating. Yep. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, y'all can have breakfast and dinosaur attack. Um, hey, dinosaur. Sure. Hey, look, we've seen that, so you guys can turn into them, right? I'm going to be honest. Y'all can do your travel for now, but I don't have this next part planned. I think we're gonna have to call it here because I thought we would take much longer in Yarder. Uh, could I burn the woods down? That'd make it easier for you. N no, it really wouldn't. It would make it hard. Hey, and who moved us? Is the start I of did. my line. So, do we want to stop at the woods then, or go? Probably at the woods, I would say. Probably at the woods, because so, I'm yeah. probably going to have first to forty. Alright, we have the other half. Next session. I'm sorry, I really thought we would have taken longer at this. I mean, it's understandable. I mean, I'm sure Yarder had a lot for us, but we didn't care. It's not a, we are not a group that we would have, you know, walked around much. 
Y'all want to know what subplot you missed since you're probably never going back there? What, to Yara? Yara? We'll go, we're going oh, back. Yeah, we'll get, yeah, for sure. Listen, we're we'll go back. back. I think yeah. it is the Modrons. No, that's not what I mean. Oh. Uh, well, if y'all do plan on going back, I'm going to keep it a secret. Yes, keep keep everything a secret, man. Unless we burn Yarder down and nuke it. Like, in any form, if we destroy it, then... Yeah, and I'm going to have to roll higher than 21. <laughs> you know, we'll just give Athos his ninth level spell so he can use Meteor Swarm on the place. I'll, I'll cast Wish to do more than that. I wish for a nuke. I wish, I wish with all my heart to fly with dragons. In I a got world nuke. I was going to say, uh, with wish, you could just go, I wish for uh, a uh, the gate to one of the hills to open up in the center of this town. And then it's just, you know, see what happens. All right. Well, where, where is your father at? Which gate of hell is that? The yeah, fifth. 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 Just open a gate to the fifth, to the fifth hell, and yeah. shit just pulls out. Yeah. Right in the middle of Yarder. Well, if we're gonna do that, we might as well choose Neverwinter. Fuck off. Bye. Bye.